just launched a publishing company and a Kickstarter for a gigantic art book. Uh, we raised all the money we needed, technically in four hours, and now we've got over 500% of what we need. Yeah, we've got some of the world's biggest artists involved. Uh, it's going to have a music CD in it, and we're going to do a documentary as well on the book and on the artists. So The theme is vampirism. It's, it's going to be an annual thing. The artists get a few pages and they go crazy with what they want. It's kind of fun. It's an artist jam book. What I'm working on right now in comics is a brand new Daredevil series uh, from Marvel. It's in the current Marvel catalog. It's called Daredevil End of Days, and it's an eight-issue series. It's a pretty big, fun, ridiculous Daredevil story. One of the other things I'm working on right now is I've been doing some Dexter stuff for Showtime uh, for the animated series. Myself and Bill Sienkiewicz collaborated on it. It's a six episode animated Dexter story. It's like a little webisode origin story. It's right before episode one. You could probably just go to YouTube and like Google David Mack and Dexter and you can watch them all for free or on Showtime's website. Pencilers, inkers, uh, colleagues, such a, such a long list. I mean, I, I, growing up as a fan, looking at the at the comics that I bought off uh, off the newsstand, uh, the you know the Jack Kirby's and the Neil Adams and the Frank Millers. Uh, I mean, he was a, he was a generation ahead of me. And then my contemporaries, the people that I've worked with, Jim and and, and Will Spertasio, and he was a young artist, three years younger than I was, and he could already draw circles around me. Guys like him had a very early influence that at this point I can't even calculate. I'm not sure how much of what I do is because of guys like Wills and Jim and, and the other and the other influences, but clearly that influence is there. This is crazy. Um, it's just, we couldn't, I know it's a cliche, but we couldn't have predicted in our wildest dreams what The Walking Dead would have become. It's amazing. There's no reason we can't do an issue 200. We've all said it's an ongoing series, so, so as long as people want to keep reading it, we'll keep producing it.